Praise the Lord, dear people of God. It is again a joyful occasion. You know, it's Sunday morning and let's praise and worship our Creator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Spirit. Hallelujah. So let's, let's join together in the Spirit and ask God to reign in us. Amen. Reign in me, Sovereign Lord. Reign in me. Oh, captivate our hearts, our minds, our soul and everything. Oh, Lord, fill our cups. Let us worship you with spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Reign in me, Jesus. Reign in me, Holy God. Fill our cups, Jesus. be the cry of your heart ask him one more time let us come on lord reign in sovereign lord with all your majesty with all your glory reign in me sovereign lord with my heart hallelujah let your kingdom come establish your throne let your will be done oh captive Right now, Lord, wherever we are, captivate our hearts, Lord. Let your kingdom come. Establish right now, right here, Lord. Let your will be done. Reign in me. Sovereign Lord. Reign and as he begins to reign in us, let's worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed to put your hands up high. Oh, let's worship him. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, ah. Jesus, Trinity God, Jehovah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, captivate our hearts, the minds, and the souls. We yield ourselves in your presence. Oh, let the glory, let your glory fill this place, wherever we are, Lord. Help us to enjoy your presence. Let the peace that passeth all understanding fill our hearts right now as we worship. We build a throne of praise to you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're back in the presence of God. Amen. We're going to sing a song. That's the first miracle Jesus did, isn't it? He turned water into wine. Amen. So we're going to sing. Whatever we have. Whatever we have. I mean, whatever income we have. Whatever resources we have. 
he will turn it into a blessing more than enough blessing amen so let's sing this song in faith okay let's do it oh yes praise the lord water you turn into wine yes you did like you into the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you none like you come on our God is greater our God is stronger God you are higher than any other God, yeah. Our God, our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is sealer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Come on. Yes, He's healer. He's awesome in power. And he's our God, he's your God. Yeah. Come on. We praise you, Jesus. Into the darkness we will shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you, none like you, our God, our God is, our God is, God you are higher than any other, our God is sealer, awesome with power, our God, our God, my God is greater, my God is greater. My God is stronger, God, you are higher than any other. My God is sealer, awesome in power. My God, my God, my God. And if our God is with us, then who can ever stop us? And if your God is with you, who can stand against? It's a question you can answer. And whatever you answer, that's how it's going to be. Yes, let's sing it. And if our God is with us, then who can never stop us? And if our God is with us, then who can stand again? And if our God is with us, then who can never stop us? Nobody can stop you, beloved. Then who can stand again? My God is greater, my God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our, one more time, my God is healer, my God is greater, you're stronger, oh yes, my God is healer. Awesome with power, our God, my God. My God is greater, my God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. My God is healer, awesome in power. My God, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, when enemies camped around the man of God, 
the servant of the man of god saw only the enemies yes but the man of god saw the angels of god the 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 angels of fire around the man of god protecting them yes the news says and what we see around the world is scary it's you know we don't know what will happen but let's ask god to open our eyes so that we will see the blessings of god around us amen hallelujah we're going to sing this song there's a table that god has prepared for you and for me amen imagine if we prepare a banquet for our beloveds it's going to be the best isn't it and they think of this god is preparing a buffet for you and for me how lavish it is going to be isn't it i'm not just talking about the food we eat i'm talking about the entire blessing that we're going to enjoy by the grace of god amen so this song says this is how we fight the battle amen this is how we fight corona yes just praising him worshiping him just getting lost just getting soaked in the presence of god oh let's begin to sing this beautiful song this is how i fight my battle let's begin oh we praise there's a table that you prepared for me in the presence of my enemy it's your body your blood you shed for me this is how i fight my battle there's a table that you prepared for me in the presence of my enemy it's your body your blood you shed for me this is how i fight my battles and i believe you've overcome and i will lift my song of praise for what you've done and i i believe i know that you have overcome and i will lift my voice a song of praise done this is how i fight my battles this is how i fight my back praising you lord worshiping you this is how i this is how this is how i fight my battles this is how i fight my battles this is how i fight my battles this is how in the valley i know that you're with me your goodness and mercy follow me so my weapons are praise and thanksgiving this is how i fight my battles and i believe you've overcome praise praise for what you've done and i believe and i oh we praise and thanks oh this is how we find my god we praise you we praise you we praise worshiping and praising you lord this is how we find my battles this is how we find my battles this is all it may look like i'm surrounded but i'm surrounded by you. do you know what it may look like i'm surrounded but i'm surrounded, surrounded by disease we are su- surrounded by sickness we are surrounded by job losses we are surrounded by you know economy down But you know what? 
between you and that you're actually surrounded by Jesus Christ himself oh yes so let's make this declaration oh it may look like it may look like I'm surrounded but I'm surrounded by you and I feel in your overcome of praise the Lord this is how we fight my battle this is how we fight oh we praise you Jesus this is how this is how we fight my battles this is how we fight my battles this is how we fight my battles this is all. You know, the science tells this. The science tells this. The sun has got lots of rays go coming from there to earth. Lots of rays. There are lots of harmful rays from sun that is reaching to earth. Supposed to reach to earth. If those rays reaches her, definitely we'll perish. But there is a layer called ozone layer. There's a layer called ozone layer. That's the layer that stops all the harmful rays from heaven, from sun to reach the earth. It allows only the good things to reach us. And you know what? You know what? Jesus is like that for us. Hallelujah. He is there between you and the harm. He is there between you and the destruction. He just protects us. Hallelujah. And that's why we say, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm actually surrounded by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's start the rhythm. And let's sing this one more time. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And sisters, let's begin singing this. My victory is in Jesus' name. Oh, my victory. My victory is in Jesus' name. Proclaim it, proclaim it, everybody. My victory is in Jesus' name. Sing it for your children. Sing it for your health. Sing it for your family. My victory is in Jesus' name. My victory is in Jesus' name. From no other name, but from Jesus' name. My healing is in Jesus' name. My success is in Jesus' name. My protection is in Jesus' name. Oh, my victory is in Jesus' name. Let's sing it together. And I praise and I believe. You've done. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. This is how I fight my battles. Praising you, Lord. Praising you, Jesus. Worshiping you, Lord. You know what our country went through, isn't it? There were lots of unwanted, you know, decisions made by people. You clap your hands, you make noise with your vessels, you ring the bell and the corona will run away. And we believed it. But I'm telling you a better solution. This is how we fight corona. Hallelujah. Just standing in the presence of God and praising Him and worshiping him oh let's worship him 
There's victory in Jesus' name. Oh, there's victory in Jesus' name. I know, I know, I know, I know. My healing is in His name. This is how we find my battle. This is how we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. This is how. This is how we find my battle. This is how. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. This is how I find my battle. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for wrapping us, for wrapping us with yourself. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Let's sing a Hindi song. E dunia ka Raja Yeshu. E dunia ka. It says, the, whole, the king of the whole earth is Jesus, and he is with you. Hallelujah. And then it says, you don't have to cry, beloveds. You don't have to cry. Abuturo, don't cry. He is with you. Amen. And he loves you. That's the, you know, there are people who, even the security people are with us, right? But do they love us? No, it's their responsibility that they do it. But Jesus is with us with all love. Amen. So let's sing this song. Enjoy this song. Enjoy the love of Christ. Yeah. Come on. We praise you, Jesus. E dunia ka raja Yeshu. E dunia ka. E dunia ka raja Yeshu. Saath de re ho na abduro. Yeshu tujhe pyar karta. Oh, Yeshu tujhe pyar karta. Oh, Yeshu tujhe pyar karta. Aaj kushiya mana logo. Yeshu tujhe pyar karta. Yeshu tujhe pyar karta. Yesu tujhe pyar karta aaj khushiyan mana lo go ahead franklin give us the music we are just enjoying the love of god hey apni jaan suli pe dekh apni jaan apni jaan suli pe dekh sabko अब तू रो ये सु तुझे प्यार कर हे ये सु तुझे प्यार करता यस ये सु तुझे प्यार करता आज खुशियां मना लोगो ये सु तुझे प्यार करता ये सु तुझे प्यार करता ये सु तुझे प्यार करता आज खुशियां मना लोगो हो Jesus this is how we fight the battle hey khuda ka ek hi beta hey khuda ka hey khuda ka ek hi beta ban gaya tere ho na ab tu ro yes tujhe pyar karta yes tujhe pyar karta yes tujhe pyar karta aaj khushiyan mana logo yes tujhe pyar karta yes tujhe pyar karta Yes, to the pyar karta, aaj kushiyan mana logo. Yeah. Let's sing that song. This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my. This is how we fight, brothers. Fight, fight, praising him, praising him. This is how we fight my battles. This is how we fight my battles. This is how we fight my battles. 
दिस इज यीशु तुझे प्यार करता यीशु तुझे प्यार करता यीशु तुझे प्यार एंड आई डोंट हैव टू फाइट यीशु तुझे प्यार करता यीशु तुझे प्यार कर यीशु तुझे प्यार करता आज खुशियां मना लोगो We praise you Jesus Wo meri chattan hamesha wo meri wo meri chattan hamesha hai sahara ho na ab tu ro this is how we fight my battle this is how we fight my battle this is how we... yes celebrating the victory before we get it this is how we fight my battle This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battle. This is how. Yesu tujhe pyar karta. Yesu mujhe pyar karta. Yesu tujhe pyar karta. Aaj khushiyan mana logo. Yesu tujhe pyar karta. Yesu tujhe pyar karta. Yesu tujhe pyar karta. and i believe you overcome and i will live my song of praise for what you've done and i believe lord and i believe you overcome and i will live my song this is how this is how i fight my battle this is how i fight yes tujhe pyar karta yes tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe Yesu tujhe pyar karta oh Yesu tujhe pyar karta oh Yesu tujhe pyar karta aaj khushiyan mana logo Put your hands together church oh we praise you lord we praise you jesus One last time Yesu tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe pyar karta aaj khushiyan mana one last time Yesu tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe pyar karta Yesu tujhe pyar karta aaj khushiyan mana lo Oh Hallelujah 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 We praise you Jesus Hallelujah it may it may look like foolishness to others but this is how we fight our battle singing and dancing in the presence of god hallelujah hallelujah we will be doing it forever and ever in the heaven also amen yes oh what a joy that fills us in the presence of god amen and we have a savior and he moves the mountain just for you and for me hallelujah he moves the mountain just for you and for me Oh savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to say he is mighty to say forever on the rock salvation he rose conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave Everyone needs compassion love that's never fading Fall on me Everyone needs forgiveness and the kindness of the savior We hope of nation My God He is mighty to save forever author of salvation My God Jesus conquered the 
find me all my fears and failures fill my life again I give my life to follow everything I believed in now I surrender We're going to make this statement one more time with all our senses. You can see this on the screen and if you can sing it with us, it will be very nice. Lord, take me as you find me. In fact, take me as you catch me, Lord. The way I am, the way I do things, I plan out things. And along with me, all my fears, my failures, fill my life again. I give my tomorrow, everything that I believe and I believed in. And now we say, now I surrender. So take me as you find me All my fears and failures Fill my life again I give my life to follow Everything I believe in And now I surrender Come on, Lord, my Savior, my God, you are mighty to save forever, author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain, my God. Hallelujah. Forever, author of salvation, my God. You rose and conquered the grave. This is how we fight our battles. This is how we fight our depression. This is how we fight our poverty. This is how we fight our anger, our anxieties. This is how we fight everything, Lord. But just coming to your presence and just praising you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. How great is our God, sing with me, praising you, praising you is how we fight our battles, oh we see how great, how great is our God. Sing with me, oh, we praise you, Lord. It's our God, and all we see how great, how great is our God. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. 
Oh, we love you, Lord. We adore you, Jesus. Thank you for filling our cups with your living water. Thank you, Lord, filling our hearts with your lovely presence. We yield ourselves and whatever we own have. Accept us, Lord. Oh, we give you all glory and honor and praise that is due unto your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your lovely presence. And now we are open to listen to your words, Jesus. Speak to us because we know your words will never come back in vain without accomplishing the thing for which it was meant to. We open our hearts. Speak to us. In Jesus' name we ask everything. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Such a great time in the presence of God. Thank you for joining in to worship the Lord with us. May the Lord continue to richly reward you as you continue to worship Him in spirit and in truth. A couple of weeks back, uh, I asked you to uh, read and uh, confess daily these two verses. Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19. And a little girl from our church, uh, baby Hannah, she has memorized it and she's reciting both in English and in Tamil every day. I was so astonished to see her video sent by her mother. It would be great that if you could watch that video right now and I will come back and share the word for today. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me and has the gospel to the poor. He has sent to me the healing the broken hearted, to preach the deliverance of the captives, and the going of sight to the blind, to sit at liberty them that are bruised. This is the acceptable year of the Lord. Kathore Avi and Aver in May is Girad, Darthur Shusha Pesum Buddy, in May Avisha Panida, in Norumule Vilakum, Serepatuk Vilim, Kurur Kupavim, Pesin the Pertum. Thank you. That was cool, right? Yes, the word of God has power. And in the last days, God said, I will ordain praises. I will ordain strength in the mouth of babes and sucklings. So it's good to see the young children worshipping the Lord reciting Bible scriptures and they carry so much power and they are destroying the works of the devil. Well, go ahead and encourage your children in the Lord. Let their talents be used for the glory of God. Continue to be a blessing to nations. May the Lord bless your generations and reward you richly. <clears throat> Let's go back to Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty who, those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. We've been observing that Jesus was reading Isaiah chapter 61 and uh, he hardly read two verses. He stopped there and said, Today, this portion is being fulfilled. That implies that the remaining portion would be continued by my disciples, by my followers, by my children who would follow my footsteps in the decades, centuries to come. So let's go back to where Jesus left and continue from there because God wants us to follow his footsteps and to do his work and in fact greater works than what he did 
because he wants you to be as powerful as he was when he lived his simple life on this earth as a human being so when you read that portion the next phrase goes like this in isaiah chapter 61 it says to declare the vengeance of the lord so we are talking about this vengeance that is sounding little uh, different but that's the exact thing that god wants us wants us to do in fact he didn't ask us to take uh, revenge on anybody vengeance is different from revenge as i mentioned last week vengeance has nothing to do with revenge vengeance proceeds from god it's god's love for justice so it's the kingdom system we can say the dynamics of the kingdom of god so jesus said after i go i will send you another comforter who will lead you into all the truths and even in the book of joel prophet joel prophesied that in the latter days god will send the former rain and the latter rain put together so in the old testament it was the former rain which was a limited version of the anointing available for only selective leaders but in the new testament through prophet joel what he prophesied was in the last days i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh upon all flesh because god is not against any human being i want you to remember this god doesn't come to steal kill and destroy it's the devil who comes to destroy humanity in fact god created this planet <clears throat> and he wanted his children we the human beings to rule over it and to enjoy the life that god has given us <clears throat> it's the devil who took it by deceit and by deception and he is destroying humanity so i want you to remember this very well that god is not uh into destroying any nation or any people but at the same time when the devil uses some human beings to destroy other nations god will intervene so this is not the vengeance i am referring to it is not a emotional retaliation that we are supposed to bring it out but it is the justice system of god so god initiates certain response to the works of the devil of course devil sometimes acts personally but most of the time he uses human beings because no spirit is valid on this planet so a physical being is required therefore devil uses human being especially uh men of gr- great stature or of influence in authority and in power so devil will use national level or international level leaders and officers and so on he will misguide them give them wrong perspectives and make them bring a rule of tyranny and threaten people destroy people make them war against each other and all those calamities that would come by just hating each other this is not the work of the lord it's the work of the devil so god doesn't like sinners to die in their sin he never likes even a single soul to go to hell or to be deprived of the blessings that he has earned for humanity on the whole he has paid for everybody's sin but most of them are ignorant they don't appreciate the work the work of the lord so i want to make it clear that we are not talking about personal revenge or any emotional retaliation we are talking about the justice system of god 
if it comes to personal retaliation what does the bible say matthew chapter 5 verse uh, 44 it says but i said to you love your enemies bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you so this is what jesus wants you to do if it comes to your personal level that we are talking about the national level or at least your communal level you know there are certain things that we have to discuss with our god and allow him to bring in justice because see god is god of justice he wants his people to have their rights so certain leaders are depriving these underprivileged people of their rights so god will raise up nations or leaders who will bring down these other nations or leaders and thus god will prove his justice hebrews 10:30 says for we know him that hath said vengeance belong belongeth unto me i will recompense saith the lord and again the lord shall judge his people so two different words i want you to remember vengeance and recompense which are closely related when god brings in his vengeance he will recompense he will make them pay you will be repaid of what you have been deprived this is how god system works six several centuries back uh, not exactly several centuries but hardly as a century back <coughs> when the britishers were ruling most part of the world right although britain on its own is a very small country but they were ruling most part of the world why did the lord allow them to have a upper hand all over the world see they think they had that power to do something on their own no it was god who allowed them to have such a power and an, and an influence that god used them to bring uh social justice to the underprivileged all over the world right there are several things that we can talk about that god used that nation to bring god's kingdom of constitutional rights and so on to different nations especially when we consider india you know there was caste system and there were so much of discriminations that were happening in our country and god used that nation so in a way we were we were under their jurisdiction they were having the upper hand we were kind of slaves that's what we we were uh, upset about but on the whole if you get the right picture god was using them to discipline us our system here in our country so god used that nation to discipline our leaders so that every individual would be equally treated so i think it was in the year uh, even after uh, independence there were uh, several other laws which were bothering the equality of status especially the 43rd amendment of our constitution where india was declared a secular and a socialistic country now recently they are saying they want to change it see see how cunning devil is working or in other words what are the christians doing we are unaware of what the devil is playing behind the screen you got to awake and pray and bind those evil spirits which are trying to deprive us of our constitutional rights so india will remain secular and socialistic so that we would have our freedom that is just one part of what i am trying to uh remind you especially the system called sati back in those days when husbands died 
women were burnt alive their wives were burnt alive in the cremation of the husband so cruel our indian laws were so god brought this nation or in other words god allowed that nation to take over many nations of the world so that the laws of god's kingdom would be implied on every other nation which were against the laws of the lord see this is how god rules this is what in other words we would call it as the vengeance of the lord he will bring justice to everyone so at times he has to allow one nation to take over the other or one city or one country or one different sect of people to take over the other so that justice would prevail you now that's how god wants it to happen that's why we the christian should remember that god is still on the throne don't think somebody else is ruling no god god knows when to take control so he waits for the the crime to reach the threshold he has set a limit when it hits the threshold that provokes the anger of the lord and god will bring his vengeance upon those nations or leaders or whoever is provoking god so this is how god works and i want you to remember that this is the work of the lord this is not a personal retaliation or revenge thing that we are talking about we are talking about the justice system of god which will bring equality among humanity Isaiah 34 verse 8 says for it is the day of the lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of zion see god want you to declare this lord's day of vengeance and the year of recompenses god is going to repay you multiple times because the devil has stolen it from you so god wants you to have the fullness of life that he has promised so maybe the title of my today's sermon can be titled this way you've been anointed to pass the vengeance of the lord you've been anointed not to not only destroy the works of the devil but to bring this justice system of god pass the vengeance of the lord so that the wrongs would be undone when god is doing certain thing in our country wait for it don't rush up things bible says that the righteous will flourish like a palm tree even in the most dry situation in a droughtful situation you will flourish so you don't have to personally worry about what will happen to my personal life or to my family that would be taken care by god if you could believe him with all your heart but on the whole when god is doing certain thing on a national level you got to cooperate with the lord and expect god to do certain things in his own way allow him to be the boss he would always give you the right verdict and the right judgment so allow him to be god and you just pray whatever he asks you to pray see when god asked uh, the people of israel to come out of the house of bondage he uh, asked moses to declare certain things and prepare their mind in exodus chapter 3 verse 21 and 22 and i will give this people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall be when you go and you shall not go empty handed but every woman shall ask of her neighbor namely of her who dwells near her house articles of silver articles of gold and clothing and you shall put them on your sons and on your daughters so you shall plunder the egyptians see if you read it at a very superficial level it may sound like god is a god of injustice he is trying to plunder the egyptians in in fact he is asking the israelites to plunder the, the egyptians to use some kind of white lies to do this and so on though it it sounds as if god is 
bad, you know. But God is always a good God. He is never a bad God. He is a God of justice and right judgment. I have mentioned uh, earlier that uh, the wages of these people for 430 years is pending. The Egyptians didn't pay the wages of the Israelites for over 400 years now and uh, they were ill-treating them. They were treated like slaves. They were not given their rights. So this is the season of God's vengeance. God said, when you go out of this house of bondage, I will not just make you go out empty-handed. Just not freedom, but a divine provision would be given to you so that you can enjoy that freedom. That's what salvation means. We all know that, right? The word salvation has five different words packed together in one word which refers not only about your spiritual redemption but also destroying the works of the devil uh, and his right, rights over your life and then giving you financial, physical and emotional deliverance and liberty and freedom so that you would have the fullness of life. Not just eternal life. Eternal life is one among the five things that is mentioned in salvation. So redemption is not complete without divine provision. I want you to take, it, take this into your heart. Redemption or salvation is not complete without divine provision. So when God redeemed you or when God saved you, it is not just eternal life that you have inherited. You have inherited a blessed long life on this planet. A healthier, wealthier, prosperous life on this earth. A trouble free life on this earth. Where devil can never touch you. And then of course the eternal life. And, and, a, and a responsibility that we are supposed to spread this same liberty to others. So we've been anointed to set the captives free. But if we've been called to set the captives free, we should be free indeed. That's why Bible says, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. The son has set you free. God incarnate had set you free. And is, he has given you his own anointing, the fullness of the spirit, through which you can do this deliverance ministry. If that is the case, then your provision should be taken care of. Your protection should be taken care of. Your healthy long life is guaranteed. So that's why you shouldn't be worried about any sickness or disease or virus that is spreading all over the world. A thousand may fall at your side and a ten thousand might fall on your right hand but it shall not come near you because you are divinely protected by the blood of Jesus. So G, uh, God said, plunder these Egyptians because they've been so much injustice. They, uh, they have, uh, they've been so much evil to you. Now it's right time to pass the judgment and teach them some lessons the, so that they would, te they would uh, treat others equally. So even in, in our nation, God is bringing in this day of vengeance and it is through us, the children of God, the anointed people of God, through whom it will be passed if you would declare right things, discuss with God and declare right things, then it will be that everyone would get their rights and God's justice system will prevail. So you've been redeemed but don't just stay there. Enjoy the fullness of life. Psalms 105 verse 37 says, He also brought them out with silver and gold and there was none feeble among his tribes. This is reference to Exodus where people came out of the house of slavery. When God brought them out, 
he didn't bring them out empty-handed he brought them out with so silver and gold and none feeble among them that means no physical sickness so when you cross this pandemic season you will come out strong and healthier with long life and you will come out with silver and gold when i mention this don't rush out and uh, try to buy some gold now because it is getting expensive nowadays that means you have to wait wait for the right season prices are going up so that is not the right time to get it wait for the timing of the lord don't rush anything they that wait upon the lord shall be renewed in their strength so wait upon the lord when the lord gives you the right sign or the signal then that would be the right time that when you come out of this season of bondage you will come out with silver and gold and there will be none feeble among you so don't ask me this question repeatedly that how come christians are dying in this uh, in this uh, pandemic uh, infection see it is because of their ignorance that's it they do not know what their rights are what their privileges are jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly if you enjoy only one part of it god is not to be blamed it is your responsibility to claim the fullness of it and you can enjoy the fullness of it nobody is going to stop you it is your responsibility you have to take it up you are supposed to lead a healthier wealthier prosperous long life on this earth before you inherit eternal life so change your mindset and enjoy the fullness of life that god has come to give you let's continue on what god is doing on the national level <clears throat> now in the book of acts chapter 13 verse 6 onwards i'd like to read it for you now when they had gone through the island of papos they found a certain sorcerer a false prophet a jew whose name was bar jesus who was with the proconsul sergius paulus an intelligent man this man called for barnabas and saul and sought to hear the word of god but elimus the sorcerer for so his name is translated which stood them seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith then saul who also is called paul filled with the holy spirit looked intently at him and said o oh, full of all deceit and all fraud you son of the devil you enemy of all righteousness will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the lord and now indeed the hand of the lord is upon you and you shall be blind not seeing the sun for a time and immediately a dark mist fell on him and he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand then the proconsul believed when he saw that what had been done being astonished at the teaching of the lord this is paul and barnabas visiting the island island of papos where the deputy governor or the next in command of that island he was ready to hear the gospel when an evil possessed man he is a jew by the way see sometimes it is the most related people who will come against you who will who will try to stop you from promoting the gospel so this fellow is trying to distract them he is uh, saying certain things that is trying to stop the gospel that is being preached that day so paul was full of the holy spirit bible says it's high time that we the children of god get full in the spirit of god speak in tongues and edify yourself build yourself up and get some heavenly signals so that you would declare rightful declarations right declarations and beyond that 
make a drastic change in your city and in your community and in your country so paul was not afraid about this thing he was not challenged by these demonic forces he was so blatant he was so open he said oh full of all deceit and fraud and you son of the devil you enemy of all righteousness will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the lord and i now pass the judgment upon you you shall be blind for a season until you repent see god doesn't want him to die see we are not against any physical human beings here we don't have war against flesh and blood we are against the evil forces which are trying to use human beings back in the old testament god brought certain laws right in the book of leviticus there are humpty number of laws brought to discipline the people of israel one among them is a regulation for women when they are supposed to be set apart for a week when they had this regular monthly issues of their uh, kind uh, they are supposed to be uh, segregated set apart isolated for a week beyond the uh, the city limit limits of that time why did god ask them to do that certain people ask this question see god is against women he discriminates and so on no that is not the reality in fact the reality is god wants to protect the dignity of women you know why because in those days men were so much evil possessed they were demonic in their behavior they were behaving like wild animals because by the way we know that uh, the the uh, the fallen angels had uh, mixed with human race and different uh, hybrid human beings were living here and uh, they were they were so ruthless they were abusing women even in the time of their menstrual cycle so wild and uh, you no know, immoral their behavior was so to protect the dignity of women and of course their physical challenges and pain god put that law in such a way that these women would be protected of their dignity at that time of challenge that's why god said set them apart for a week let them go out of the city so that these wild men will not abuse these women so we we don't observe these things we just want to find fault with god as if he is a foolish god and you are so smart you are just a creation of the creator you cannot fathom the depths of his wisdom he is too profound so we are just simple people a drop in a ocean we better keep our mouth shut when when we don't understand certain things time will come then when we will come to know the reality then you will appreciate god so until then keep your mouth shut if you could not understand the ways of the lord the ways of the lord the thoughts of the lord the plans of the lord are too big and too high as heaven is from the earth so are his ways and his thoughts he has a great plan over your life a plan to prosper you and not to destroy you so just trust your life trust him with your life and god will protect you and continue to flourish you and your generations so in here coming back to the book of acts a na- national leader is being manipulated by sorcerers witchcraft people see the, it is evident in our nation and of course most of the nations of the world all the high level leaders are being manipulated by sorcerers and witch uh, and wizards by the way and they are provoking all evil forces and trying to manipulate those leaders and the leaders are left with only one choice bringing in wrong decisions that deprives human beings of their rights 
this planet belongs to the lord and we human beings are supposed to enjoy the fullness of it while the devil is taking advantage of our foolishness and he is enjoying he is having fun when humanity is being cursed they are bringing in calamities both natural and man made calamities and destroying lives bringing in wrong laws and bringing in chaos and confusion and nation against nation people against people people groups against different people groups no they they are trying to torture each other thus but god is not pleased with this because this is his planet he wants you and me the children of god to speak up on his behalf because we are the representatives of his kingdom like paul we have to speak the vengeance of the lord now i remind you once again that this is not a personal revenge system that we are talking about being full of the spirit of god and then passing judgments not on your own right be very clear don't take it upon yourself be full of the holy spirit and the lord will lead you into this kind of a prayer sometimes you you do not know what to pray for so you switch switch over to this auto mode speaking in tongues when you speak in tongues you speak secrets with the heavenly kingdom with god so thus you would pray the right will of god and devil cannot understand that he he would be literally confused because that is the only language he cannot understand so paul then made a right decree in the natural language he said i'm passing this judgment upon you be thou blind for a season he didn't curse him go die no that that's not our cup of tea right we are not supposed to curse any human being physically we are supposed to curse the evil spirits that are trying to use people but if they are so much into evilness if they have sold themselves their souls to the devil then we cannot help them out right so we are not against any human beings we are against evil spirits that are using human beings so this man became blind the very moment and he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand then the proconsul believed when he saw what had been done being astonished at the teaching of the lord this is the right season for the church to prove its power over all the powers of the demonic forces because we have the upper hand right we we are the real powers we are the legal rightful rulers of this planet how long can we keep our mouth shut when the demonic forces are prevailing we are supposed to pass some judgments with the direction of the lord and when the spirit of the lord says do this you better do it at a small level or or at a larger level but certain things you cannot speak it openly in the public medium right don't use your social media for certain kinds of prayers and decrees you cannot even claim certain miracles openly because no it is between you and god you know it maybe you can share it with like minded people i have a couple of such examples which i cannot share it here well go ahead and be a representative of god's kingdom be used by god and in the upcoming years you will be much more influential in the society that nations leaders nations leaders will come to you that's what we've been prophesied in the book of i say chapter 60 that kings will come walking to the light that is arising inside you may the lord use you powerfully in the days to come in the book of numbers chapter 16 there we have another example of certain group of 
so called people who been redeemed from the house of slavery but they were constantly against god and his ways see earlier we saw about people who been evil possessed from the other other uh, group of people but now this is one among yourself but always against the ways of the lord always against the men of god so they said now how is that god is using only moses and aaron are we not much more smarter and wiser and influential we have more money we have more power we can do these things and all those stuff they are trying to show themselves off so numbers chapter 16 verse 28 through 35 and moses said by this you shall know that the lord has sent me to do all these works for i have not done them of my own will if these men die naturally like all men or if they are visited by the common fate of all men then the lord has not sent me but if the lord creates a new thing and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up with all that belongs to them and they go down alive into the pit then you will understand that these men have rejected the lord now it came to pass as he finished speaking all these words that the ground split apart under them and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their households and all men with kora and with all their goods so they and all those with them went down alive into the pit the earth closed over them and they perished from among the assembly then all israel who were around them fled at their cry for they said lest the earth swallow us up also and a fire came out of the lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering incense so this is a sect of people among the israelites who had enjoyed the favor of god for a time but now they want to stand against god's ways they take it too much upon themselves and they are challenging the god ordained leadership so this again is not personal vengeance i mean personal retaliation that we are talking about uh moses makes it very clear that they have rejected the lord that is the reason see if anybody rejects the lord the source of life then you are done with that's it so this is where it is dangerous until you have never rejected the lord then there is a chance god gives you multiple chances to every human being on this earth but if they reject the source of life then there is no hope at all so there comes a time when god's justice would prevail god's judgment would come upon them it's a time for god's vengeance because they have deprived the other people of their rights they are a hindrance they are an offense to others so god had to destroy this group of of people sons of kora with their family members and all their belongings and 250 of the other people who are related to them in the sense they all rejected god so there are a group of people who are who have sold themselves to the devil they are outright devil's representatives so it is time that we the children of god who are anointed by the spirit of god we are supposed to pass the judgment upon them the judgment of the lord not of our personal uh, retaliations and so on there is no time and there is no place for personal revenge we are talking about god's judgment being sent here the vengeance of the lord so what jesus implied was i cannot do this because jesus was bridging the former reign and the latter reign jesus said when i go to the father i will ask him and he will send you another comforter that's why he said 
wait in jerusalem until you've been bestowed with power from on high so they waited in the jesus resurrection after the jesus resurrection for 40 days jesus was showing up to different people and after his ascension they are, they waited for 10 days in the city of jerusalem and on the 50th day exactly on the festival of pentecost the spirit of the lord descended from on high that's when the latter rain season started so that's why jesus said i cannot do this part of the ministry mentioned in isaiah chapter 61 and therefore he left it half finished that means the things that has to be done in this season i would do my children my disciples would come and continue from where i left including what i started so that's why jesus said you will do greater the works than what he did because he he had to do a limited version of it where you are supposed to complete the full version of the ministry that he started So that's why you've been given the full measure of the spirit of God in the latter days God is God is ready to pour out a spirit upon all flesh not just only selective few leaders who are specially gifted and anointed no that's a wrong teaching upon all flesh he is ready to pour his spirit if you are ready to comply with him then he is ready to use you to a larger scale where you will be Uh, sharing the gospel with national leaders and you'll be influencing nations and cities and and god will use you to destroy the works of the devil and uh, it, when it comes to your personal needs it is of course taken care of because when you are an ambassador of god's kingdom the kingdom takes care of its if it of its ambassadors the god would take care of your personal needs sometimes you have you are full of uh, negativity you are full of unbelief you better keep your mouth shut it is good for you instead of speaking something negative if you could just keep your mouth shut then at least you will win the favor of god if you if you speak negatively then you will lose your miracle Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1 and 2 Then Elijah said hear the word of the Lord thus says the Lord tomorrow about this time a sea of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel and two seas of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria So an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said look if the Lord would make windows in heaven could this thing be and he said in fact you shall see it with your eyes but you shall not eat of it so if you could believe god for a miracle then open your mouth if you couldn't believe keep your mouth shut you'll you'll be at least in the neutral ground then you there's a possibility of winning the favor of god but if you mo- open your mouth and speak negative then you may see it but you you will not enjoy it you will not have it there are people who who accumulated wealth and they didn't enjoy it you know why because that's what we think we we can live longer that's what these dictators thought you know last week i mentioned about a uh, uh, hitler who said he will he will live for 1000 years he will have a reich in germany which would last for 1000 years how can a, a, a human being known for frailties can live for 1000 years they think they are god no they are just human being the next moment god blows them off of their breath and they are no more you better understand your limitations but at the same time don't limit god see what is supernatural what is a miracle the thing that you cannot do the thing that only god can do that's what we call it as supernatural or a miracle if you think it logically with the all your uh, latest postmodern scientific brains you will not comprehend it you will say how is that possible this is highly possible who asked you for a, a counsel or a, any uh, ideas that you will co- complement to this invention no god didn't ask you for any ideas 
he says a virgin will give birth to a child that's it he knows how to do it because he is the creator he can create things out of nothing when uh, jesus was walking on the waters everybody thought nobody can walk on water only evil spirits can no if evil spirits could do miracles god can do better miracle man you remember that but beyond that there's one guy who believed god for a supernatural work that day that night by the way so peter he said lord if it is you permit me to walk on the waters god didn't say oh well go and fast and prepare yourself and no no he immediately said yes walk and he started to walk on the waters supernatural is possible if you put your brains off allow jesus to be the lord of your life the owner the final authority of your life don't ask how is that possible scientifically the law of nature the law of gravity you talk about different laws there are different other laws which are also legal here as i mentioned last time people believe the laws of gravity is greater until one fine day the right brothers thought there are there are different other laws laws of aerodynamics through which they can they can win over the laws of gravity that's when they started to fly an aeroplane so to your understanding to your scientific mind you might think this is highly impossible i'm going to die in the sickness i'm going to end up in poverty i'm going to lose my job my business is finished with well shut your mouth and allow the lord to be the owner the final authority of your life you say lord let your will be done and keep your mouth shut and beyond that if you are in in terms with the lord speak out the promises of god declare what the lord ask you to do speak only the promises of god and you will come out of this season as we read here in uh, isaiah chapter sorry psalms chapter 105 verse 37 he will bring you out with silver and gold and there will be none feeble among your tribes you will come out of this season with riches with lot of provision and with health and long life may the lord continue to use you mightily in the days to come but the kingdom is not about personal agenda it is beyond that winning nations and cities for his kingdom say well represent his kingdom well and be an influential person in the society don't be threatened by the lies of the devil you are the person in charge you are being authorized by heaven itself you have all the powers required you have the very same spirit that was upon jesus christ will declare certain things in conjunction with his guidance right discuss with them and speak out the right words that will come to pass even it is to the level of teaching some people some lessons i'm reminding it please be balanced it is not personal vindications it is not any personal level retaliations or revenge it is about the justice system of god the justice that has to reach some people that was being deprived for centuries for decades you represent the kingdom of god you pass the right judgment on behalf of god with the words of the lord and you will prevail and you will be protected and provided supernaturally don't open your mouth with negative words speak only the right words speak only the promises of god and you will prevail may the lord use you powerfully in the days to come to declare the day of the vengeance of the lord the nation india and the world will see the day of the vengeance of the lord the days because it's going to be in different nations in different days they will see the vengeance of the lord you will see it if you would believe it if you could believe it on another level they then you will come out of it with lot of silver and gold 
and you will never be sick may the lord continue to protect you provide you guard you and guide you and grant all of your heart's desires well pray in in unknown tongues Sp- speak in the unknown language get filled in the spirit of the lord and be used by him let's close our eyes and pray father we want to thank you for helping us to understand and appreciate the great responsibility that we are supposed to shoulder with you lord we even call to share your throne understanding your kingdom and your system of justice and then passing that system here on on this planet lord help us to speak the right words help us to discuss with you before we speak it out lord help us not to open our mouth with negative words but only with your promises and right declarations so that we would bring the vengeance of the lord on this planet use us for your glory lord let your name be glorified in and through us and help us to accomplish your will your perfect will over this planet lord use your people and bless them abundantly in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen may the love of father god grace grace of our savior jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with every one of us forever and ever amen amen god bless you thank you